I'm going to um, Back to the Future. I'm going to record this video. This is going old school. So I'm recording this on an SL2000, much like the one you see right here, except for that one needs to be serviced. It may just be that the heads are dirty on it. But when I plugged it in, I had no picture. So it may be just that the heads are contaminated. It may have another problem. But I have my other SL2000 that you guys saw serviced. This one was given to me recently. And um, I haven't had a chance to even look at it yet. But we'll know someday. Anyway, due to popular demand, people have suggested that they want to see a video shot on old school equipment. So, this is about as old school as I've got. It's being recorded on beta tape. Now, if you see a lot of dropouts on the tape, that's because it's being recorded on a 30-year-old tape. Let's keep this authentic. This is the tape, and it's not even a Sony-branded tape. It's an RCA. Believe it or not, RCA actually made beta tapes. Although, I don't think that RCA actually made the tape, because if we've got here, it says, made in Japan. So, I'm pretty sure it's a Sony tape that RCA just labeled as theirs. The camera that is being used to record this is a Sony. It's a Satacon mixed field. It's an HVC 2800. You guys have seen the video on this, I'm sure, at some point, too. It's been recorded in Beta 2 on an SL2000, and the editing is taking place using two SLHF1000 units. So there won't be any fancy titles, there won't be any fancy cuts or anything, or any dissolves or anything. It's just going to be straight cut, 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 cut. Maybe do an insert edit once in a while here. Um, to say, this is just, this, we're going old school. So, and I'm going to probably publish it some future time. I'll film the, the editing process once I've got the editing bay set up. I'm just going to look at this old Blaupunk car radio cassette deck that was given to me. I don't know whether it works or whether I can fix it or anything about this thing other than this was given to me and I was just, it was just told, hey, recycle it, do what you want. Um, because this is being shot on old school equipment, I don't really want to, you know, I don't really think I need to do a, 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 a video that uh, has much value to it other than for the educational value of the old gear and that you'll be able to see me editing using the old uh, equipment. So, let's, um, let's take a look at this Blaupunt uh, unit and see, I even got the optional, the four-way speaker for front and rear. Check this out. Hey, this camera's got macro on it. Whoa. Where am I here? I got to look at it on my monitor. How's that for a wire-wound rheostat to select between your front and and your rear speakers. That's real high tech, huh? There it is. My dad had one of these in his Mercedes when he had a, uh, had a diesel Mercedes with a, had a, I think it was a Blaupunt actually. It was a Blaupunt or was it, no, what, no it wasn't. It was a Blaupunt AM radio and he had, um, I'm, trying, I'm trying to remember the name of the 8-track, but it was a K-A-C-O, I think. Keiko? Um, Anyway, it was uh, some some off-brand of 8-track that he had back in, like, the 60s. Anyway, this is a Blaupunt original in-dash AM-FM radio with cassette that we're going to find a way to hook this up to a battery and see if it works. And if it doesn't work, see if we can make it work on this silly video that's being shot with old equipment that I, 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 I'm surprised that stuff even still works. Take a look at my, uh, this is the record deck that I'm recording this on. I actually had to pull the top off it and clean the heads because uh, when I put the first tape in, well, things didn't work out quite so well. And I'm looking for the zoom over here. I'm probably too close to focus on this thing, but things didn't work out so well. I put the same tape in this beta deck as I had put in the other one and had immediate contamination of the heads. So... Um, yeah, there are some, some bad tapes kicking around here. This video is completely being shot on beta. It's been edited to beta. And it's going to be transferred directly to my Hopodge HD PVR. 
it is not being imported in any way, shape, or form into Adobe Premiere or any other editing package. So that's why I don't have my logo or anything on this video. I wanted you guys to see exactly the quality that we dealt with back in the early 80s. This was the last of the tube-based cameras. So this camera that I'm shooting this on it actually has pretty good color quality if you give it enough light. Now when I say enough light, well, I'll show you what's running in the workshop now. Give me a, enough light. So, over the bench, I have a 65 watt compact fluorescent with a couple of 40 watt tubes. There's another 42 watt compact fluorescent there. And in behind me, this is probably going to damage my, my camera tube, that is a 400 watt piece of junk. Hooked it up to the to the uh, the battery. If I press the power button. That works. It doesn't work that good. Let's uh, take the top off this thing. Here it is. Got our playback head. It's a single direction. That's not an auto reverse. Got a solenoid in here. And uh, should I try the cassette deck? We know the radio works. It just doesn't work that well. It's got. Let uh, me get the camera a little higher so I can see what I'm doing. Working with tapers, I have to make sure that I leave myself lots of. Uh, time at the beginning and the end of each shot so that I can edit it because even though the machine I'm going to be using to edit it is frame accurate it still makes it I have to give myself some queuing points normally when I'm shooting I'm shooting with a file based system so I can hit the stop button I can stop talking hit the stop button hit the start button again and start talking and just cut all the files together in this case I'm going to be editing linearly so I have to remember to think like an old producer and leave myself a, a run in and a run out point on the tape to edit. So, oh, this thing's so old. I've got our, our volume control and tone control over here. And down on this side, this is the tuning pack. And essentially, like all old car radios, it's a coil with a slug. And when you turn the tuning dial, the slug winds its way out. As you can see, that's what changes. There's the slug in there. That's what changes your tuning on this thing. Now, this, this old beast is not going to be fixed. This old beast is just for demonstration, as is this video. That's why I picked this piece of junk to, um, to show you, because um, I don't think there's going to be any educational value at all in this video, other than the fact that I want to see if this tape deck actually plays a tape. So, I gotta go find a cassette tape that I don't mind getting chewed up and see if it works. A cassette tape. We'll see whether this thing's going to do anything or whether it's going to chew the tape up. The tape goes kind of in like that. And I guess, yeah, we push it in like that and it, it, it actually brings up the motor from below. And then it ejects. Yeah. We have a real fiction problem. The tape, the, the uh, tape cup spool is not working on this uh, deck. Yeah, we better uh, stop that before we try to stop that before we get. Better stop that before we get a copyright um, hit from. The Irish Rovers people. <laughs> hey, it works, but the uh, what's going on with this is this little idler down here is gummed up. So let's see if we can clean that thing up and clean off those tires a bit. See whether that will improve this thing. 
turn the volume down so I don't create any copyright problem. Okay, that's enough of that. I don't need to have the copyright police breathing down my neck. I just had the copyright police breathing down my neck when I did my Vitamagic video, the one that was posted just prior to this one. Because I had a shot when I was talking about the technology that Sony was using on that that Indexatron tube, and I had a, but a, I guess about a 30 second shot of a YouTube video of all things that I had routed into the uh, into the TV portion of it and had it displaying on a wall, and it was a clip of uh, the cellist Yo-Yo Ma playing for about 30 seconds, no sound, just him bowling his cello. And uh, somehow I managed to trigger an image copyright strike and had the video blocked worldwide. So I had to go back and re-edit it and uh, put some big logos over it and turn the image inside out and all kinds of other stuff and add some distortion to it just so that it wouldn't trigger the strike. So, yeah, the copyright people get kind of annoying sometimes. You know, whatever heard of fair use when you're trying to demonstrate or test something, right? But, and I don't know how to turn this thing over. That's just the fast forward and the rewind. Well, there's the rewind. Oh, wonderful. This is one of these decks that you would say, I'm breaking a finger because you actually had to hold for rewind and you had to hold for fast forward. But that's working. I don't know how to eject this thing, maybe, ah, that's how you eject it. We'll turn it over, side B. Rewind. If they sound like they're drunk, they probably were. This was, this was this was good Irish drinking music that I remember from when I was a kid growing up in a in an Irish family. It never fails when I'm trying to shoot a video. The neighbor brings somebody in and has them start grinding stumps or chipping trees or something. I can never get anything done. You know, for the for three hours today prior to this joker showing up grinding a tree, the neighbor left their dog outside and it was howling all day. So my day off has been annoyed all day by noise. Either a dog that sounds like it's howling at the moon, or um, the noise of stump grinding and tree chipping. Here's the uh, the bottom of the radio, and I think that 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 coil there. That's actually I think that's the. AM coil and the FM tuner is in the back here. I think I think that's the way it's laid out. And my antenna came off. Well, I definitely have to turn the music off. Can't have the music playing. Can't have the music playing, or I'll really create some. Oh, here's a thing here. Oh, but 
Recycling. I'm sorry I did that. That's just all that noise outside is driving me absolutely crazy. This unit here was no need to repair this thing. This is going for recycling. Um, it was given to me to throw out, so it's going to the dump. Thanks for watching. I hope I got that because uh, I can't do it again. <laughs> Thanks for watching.